Iranian authorities in Gizel Hesar prison, Karaj, executed political prisoner Mohammad Gobadlo on Tuesday, January 23, 2024, for taking part in anti-regime protests. Gobadlo, 23, was arrested in Tehran in October 2022, during the nationwide uprisings that erupted after the regime's security forces murdered a young girl, Masa Amini, for violating the regime's hijab rules. Go Badlo was charged with the murder of one of the repressive forces who had been dispatched to suppress the protests. His case was overseen by Abolgasem Salavati, a notorious judge under US and European sanctions for his role in human rights abuses, especially against dissidents. Go Badlo was denied access to a lawyer of his choosing and was appointed an attorney by the court. He was charged with corruption on earth and sentenced to death despite a severely flawed judicial process and lack of evidence aside from confessions obtained under torture. The regime upheld the death sentence despite international calls for revoking it. On Monday, January 22, 2024, news broke of Gobadla's imminent execution in Gazelle Hesser prison. International human rights organizations called for a halt to the sentence. Mrs. Maryam Rajavi, the president-elect of the National Council of Resistance of Iran NCRI, called on the UN to intervene to save the life of Gobadlo and other political prisoners on death row. Gobadlo's lawyer had declared that the sentence was illegal based on the regime's own laws. A group of people rallied in front of the prison to call for an immediate halt to the sentence. The regime nonetheless carried out the execution on Tuesday morning. Its criminal judiciary declared that the execution was carried out under its barbaric law of retribution in kind. Gobadlo is the ninth political prisoner to be executed in relation to Iran's 2022 nationwide uprising. During the uprising, regime security forces killed more than 750 civilians and arrested tens of thousands. Dozens were sentenced to death. Prisoners were brutally tortured and mistreated and several prisoners committed suicide after their release due to the stress caused by the torture and reports that regime authorities injected them with drugs that caused severe depression.